Um, well, this bucket here is filled with water, and inside... Hey, don't touch the bucket. And inside the, um, this bucket, it's a bell. Okay, a and bell. why why can you not touch the bucket? Because if we touch the bucket, the water's going to vibrate, and we don't want it. I mean, move, and we don't want that happening. Okay, yeah, so... What are you trying to see, if you can do? Herbie, what are you trying for? I, I guess I'm trying to, like, use the stick so the hand. And, like, you, like, use the stick to, like, hit the button to, like, see if the water vibrates. So you're using sound to see if you can... If you can make the bell make noise under the water. That's not what you just said. Okay. Um, you're, I... You want the sound to be able to do what to the water? Like the sound to make the water vibrate. Okay, so so the question is, will sound make the water vibrate? And to test that, we're going to put a boat on top of it to see how much it Okay, works. so the boat has to go in. No, not good. that night. After, so we're going to ring the bell first. Wait. Okay, wait a second. We're going to... Wait, add the bucket. Add the bucket. What? No. We, first we you ring the bell. Oh, first you, you ring it. Oh. oh! It's got stuck a little. <laughs> Can I try with my finger? Okay. Okay, oh. you rang the bell. Yep, and it barely moved. We it can't it tell, so let's put the boat in, because the boat's going to help us see if it will vibrate. Okay, now, wait, you, wait. I think using your finger works better. Oh, Did the vibrate. boat move? No. No. Barely so moved. no vibration. But there's still some sound. So some we hear some sound, but we didn't get any vibration. What do we want to do now? We're gonna add another bucket. Next, we add another four bucket. cups. Of water. No, no, no. So we're, we're gonna add one more bucket. We're gonna add a bucket of water, and see if more water will change it. How many of you think if we put more water in? That will get the boat to move. Put it in the in the um, cover it live. Put it Go in. ahead, put the water in. Okay. Now this time. And what do we have to do before we start? Make sure the water first. Okay. Finished. And what else has to go back in there? We were gonna ring it first and then put the boat. In. Nah, just put the boat in. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, the boat's going in. No. Nope. Okay. Ooh, vibrate a little. Oh, uh, we got a vibration on that one. Yeah, we heard a little. It vibrated at least a little one bit. A little vibration. So now what are we going to do? Yeah, now we're going to see if... um. One more bucket full? Yeah. 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 Okay, so we had no in. vibration with very little water. Now we're putting more water in. And we got a little bit of a vibration. Yes, yeah, so so I had asked Mr. Crosby that it's now going to be six cups of water this time. Yes. Well, tell him whatever you want, Herbie. Hmm. Is there something you want to tell the class? Yeah. Well... Like, what do you think is going to happen when we ring the bell? Well, when we ring the bell. Okay, what do you think is going to happen when we ring right, the bell? So, so, so far, they stirred up a small amount of water. When we rang the bell, we didn't get much. We put more water in, and, and then the water moved a little bit. Now they just put more water in. What do you think is going to happen this time? What do you think is going to happen? Okay, Dwayne, you ring the bell. Should we ring it? Okay. First time they did it, wasn't a lot of move. Put more water in, rang the bell, and it moved something. Now they're putting more water in. What do you think might happen? You think it might move more? How many people think that's what's going to happen? They're going to get more movement. Put the book by the bell. Oh, um, um, what do you guys think is going to happen when you guys put more water in? So what do you think is going to happen? Um, maybe I'll I'll move a little bit more. So you think we're going to get some movement? Did yes. it surprise you that we didn't get any movement the first time? Yes. Yeah. That surprised us. Because <laughs> we were expecting but, for it to move more. Ah. So, uh, so you're maybe. trying to transform sound to water okay let's see okay so keep the 
Oh, he let go of the boat. Ooh, it vibrated like, I think, 2%. Okay, so I'm having a problem here. So it, it turns out... Well, the problem I'm having is I have a feeling that was Dawn's hand. Yeah. yeah. So we need to do the stick. Oh, I, I saw a vibration. Right, we. I'm gonna come really close, and Mrs. Miller, if you could come really close too, so we can see that. There's the mm. Mm. Okay. So, back. so mm. we see a little bit of a vibration, not much. There we go. So we see that little vibration. The boat doesn't move much. It's not a lot. Didn't you think we'd get, how many of you thought we'd get a lot of movement from a bell underwater? And how many of you thought, nah, it's not going to happen? Uh. Well, I'm surprised. I, how many of you, I'm surprised. I thought we'd get a lot of movement. So were we able to transform sound energy into water energy or hydro energy? So we did get some, but was it a lot? No. No. Is it the kind of energy we could count on to, like, run our electricity? No. No, no, no. I, don't, I don't think so. You guess we should... Um, I'm wondering if, there's a, if there was a different way to make sound uh, or a different shaped bell. Or would that make a difference? I mean, not that you're going to do that today, but would real scientists say at this point, um, well, I guess that doesn't work? Or would they maybe think, well, maybe we're not making sound the right way. Maybe we're, maybe if we made mainly high pitch sounds, it would do better. Or low pitch sounds, or, I mean, I don't know. Like a different object. At like a, for a science, like a tuning fork, for example. So how many of you think if we had a different object, we'd get more vibration? Carlene, you're still saying, no, <laughs> it's not going to happen. Not doing it. We actually chose that bell for a reason. Why don't you tell them what the reason was? Because if we chose like a cowbell, when we would bring it underwater, it would just make the water move already. Just because we have to this. move it in the water so that wouldn't work so we try to counter bell because if and we have the stick right here if you could see to um point it with so that it won't make as much um the water won't move as much as, as okay. cow bell right this. so we chose a bell that we thought we could ring without moving the water with our hand <laughs> that was a great job mr cross <laughs> Okay, another great experiment. How much water did you guys put the first time and then the second time? How much water was in there the first time? Oh, on the first time, we just put enough water so it slightly is over the bell. Okay, so it wasn't a certain amount. No. It was just enough to cover the bell. Yeah. Yeah, and then and then we added um oh, one one kind of one container this size yeah and then uh, after we, we added one yeah. more to that yeah Okay. Yeah. Originally, we were going to add a cup and then another cup, but the container is so large right. that we knew a cup wouldn't really have much effect. Yeah. Oh, did, did, is that something we, we asked, too, was what if you did have a smaller container? Would the uh, bell make a bigger difference because there's less stuff in there? I mean, I know that's what you're testing. Anyhow, but if the walls were closer to the bell, would that make a difference, I wonder? So these are, these are some really good questions. Do you think that it would make a difference if we had a smaller container? Maybe because the sound would maybe go. Maybe. Like the tank. Yeah. Maybe. Just think of it. If you're in a small room and you're talking at a certain um, level, you can be heard really easily. But if you were in a really big room, I mean really big, Somebody on the other side of the room might not be able to hear because, I don't know, the sound waves don't go as far. I wonder if waves in the water act the same way. 
Well, we know whales communicate yeah, underwater, right? Dolphins. Whales, and dolphins. Some sea creatures can communicate and hear the sound waves underwater. Where did you guys find this experiment? We kind of created it for ourselves. Oh, 